Espalier is the horticultural art and agricultural practice of training woody plants into flat planes and formal patterns. The appeal of espalier lies both in aesthetics and functionality. A large variety of plant material, including those prized for their flowers, fragrances, and fruits, are commonly used in espalier culture and provide aesthetic texture and color to any garden. The functional uses of espalier vary depending on the stylistic approach and include the creation of dividing walls and arbors as well as the utilization of minimal space in the garden. Peter Tevenot is an espalier expert and the owner of River Road Farms, an espalier nursery located in Decatur, Tennessee. I got started in the espalier tree training somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 years ago. I was inspired to get started when my wife and I ended up uh, on a horticultural tour that led us to the gardens uh, at Mount Vernon, George Washington's home, where I became spellbound with the beautiful plants that I saw that were lining the walls and just really couldn't believe it. And after that trip, uh, I came back and Although I had just started a nursery uh, where I was growing a number of other more traditional plants, uh, I just kept thinking uh, about those espalier trees. So over a period of several years, I began to uh, set up a very primitive area in my nursery where I intended to train my trees. In the following years, spurred by his personal enjoyment of the art, Mr. Tevino began shifting the focus of his nursery towards espalier material production. My nursery, which officially opened in 1992, uh, River Road Farms, uh, were located uh, in Decatur, Tennessee was my first, I guess, real step into growing plants and to become what I believe is one of the premier espalier tree nurseries in the country. River Road Farms is not only home to the largest selection of espalier material in the United States, but is also maintained by a staff of dedicated and highly trained individuals. Although, I hate to admit it, or maybe I'm proud to admit it, but I think that the people I've trained are probably doing as good, if not a better job, of training our trees than I did. But that's just between you and me. Me and Peter have uh, been working for, together for at least 20 years or so. Uh, it's grew to what it is today, uh, kind of all over the all over the U.S. Here, you know, we we uh, enjoy uh, growing the trees, uh, training them. Uh, we enjoy the, uh, the client base, uh, talking with them, and you know it's fun. It's fun to do. So all the trees that you're going to see that we have in the nursery, he trains them or the people who he has trained are training the trees. In talking about espalier trees and, and in talking about the various shapes that we train uh, the trees in, uh, we've got to talk about, well, what type of trees can you train to become an espalier? Traditionally, the fruit trees, primarily apples, pears, sometimes peaches, plums, uh, and other edible fruits. But 
you can also train ornamental trees uh, such as crab apples, uh, Bradford pears, uh, you can espalier train oak trees. Anything that uh, has branching that will harden into a shape and keep it is an espaliable tree. In the uh, arena of all of the different shapes, you know, are there any that lend themselves better to one use or another? Well, let's take the Belgian fence. This is what this is, and this happens to be an eight foot wide panel. Uh, you can have an eight foot panel, or you can have an 80 foot panel, but historically, you can tell by the name that it was intended to be a fence. So in your garden, if you want to separate an area from one area from another, a Belgian fence is a perfect uh, shape. The candelabras uh, can be used both as a single specimen or they can be used as a pair in order to create a, a shape that is ends up being a living arbor and you can plant multiple plants together and make a tunnel from them so if you want to use something to create beautiful walkthroughs in a garden into the entry portion of a garden uh, they're they're perfect for that the horizontal cordon is probably the most versatile plant. It can be used uh, both as a very uh, tight, uh, let's say four foot wide, uh, four feet tall specimen in a small area. It provides you architectural interest it provides you with the flowering uh, at your back door, fruit in a very small area. They can also be used as a sing you know as a single specimen, with there being six to seven or eight feet wide, six to seven to eight feet tall. It all depends on what size that uh, of the area that you want to cover, as well as they can be planted planted together to create a fence-like effect as well. Now the fan, which is sort of a modified version of what Friar Legendre uh, originally found uh, to be effective in his orchards, can be used as an individual specimen in a large space uh, near a house they can also be used uh, in a group to create a screen, but they're uh, a very good, uh, reliable form for fruit production, and their multiple branching uh, creates a lot of interest, as well as they're easy to maintain. So those are just a few thoughts on some of the basic shapes that you'll find uh, in a spalier. In the next episode, we will explore the history of a spalier, as well as delve further into the various styles of espalier art.